Hey guys, time to be unboxing the Marvel Trading Card Game vs. System, X-Men vs. The Brotherhood. Uh, it should be a two-player starter deck. Let me make sure it says, yeah, 80 game cards. So yeah, it would be like 40 of each. So, yes, two-player starter, right on the side. Should have read. It's made by Upper Deck. When was this one made? 2004. So... Very cool. As you can see right here, it already looks like Wolverine. So, then we have this goofy art here of Wolverine. I, I can't really tell who that is. And then there's Magneto and Storm. So, strange. Oop. And it is uh, first edition. So, uh, has a has the 80 cards, quick start rules, and oh. And uh, complete rules. So cool. So let's go ahead and open this. I actually got this in a trade. I traded some foil cards from another game for this. And also got some Marvel Ultimate Battle cards out of it. So since I wanted the Marvel starter deck here, I thought why not just take the Ultimate Battle cards too. So, knock the box right over. I see, I was waiting for that to happen. So we have the rule book. Then we have the quick start rules, which is probably like a mat too. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is like a mat too. So it's kind of what I figured. So we have Wolverine on the front of one and then Magneto on the other. So here's the X-Men and here's the Brotherhood. So let's open the Brotherhood first. So this starter goes for a little more than most other ones I've seen, which is surprising because uh majority of them go for a really cheap amount. Especially the, uh, which one was it? Oh, Spider-Man and Doc Ock starter deck, which goes for almost nothing. And I cannot open this to save my life, so if my life were on the line, I would never open anything else again. Because I'm not smart enough to open these cards. There we go. Finally. So, oops, okay, so some of them are upside down, hold on, it's very strange, a lot of it is upside down, so, I think I've got everything adjusted, so, we start off with Magneto, Tube of the Blob, to Destiny, two more Magneto, to Mystique, oh, three. Uh, Fantasia, two. Pyro, two. Quicksilver, two. Sabretooth, two. Sauron, two. Scarlet Witch, Toad, two copies of Toad. Then we get to Plot Twist, Acrobatic Dodge, Cover Fire, Equipment, Dual Sidearms, more Plot Twist, Finishing Move, two copies. Flying Kick, two copies. Equipment, Kevlar Body Armor. Plot twist, nasty surprise, two copies. One two punch, two copies. Location, Asteroid M, Lost City, Savage Land. Plot twist, New Brotherhood, and War on Humanity. So that covers the Brotherhood side. And this one was much easier to open. See, with these, they usually have this uh, part where you can kind of just pull and lift up. But the other one didn't have that. So only this one did. So once again, fixing cards. So far it looks like a lot of the same as in uh, the other deck. Except for locations are going to be different, of course. So first we start off with Wolverine. Two Colossus. Cyclops. Three copies. Dazzler. Two. Gambit. That was one of my favorite X-Men. 
Jean Grey, two copies. Nightcrawler, two. Professor X, two. Psylocke, two. Rogue, Shadowcat, two. Storm, another Wolverine. Just looks like different art, and it's not as strong. So we have Plot Twist, Acrobatic Dodge, Cover Fire, Equipment, Dual Sidearms. Plot Twist, Finishing Move, two copies. Two copies of Flying Kick, Kevlar Body Arm Equipment. Nasty Surprise, uh, Plot Twist, two. Plot Twist, One Two Punch, two copies. Locations, Danger Room, Plot Twist, Fastball Special, which is two copies. Locations, Xavier School, and the X Corporation location. That's fun to say. <laughs> Alright guys, um, that's all for this one, and I will see you all in the next video.